cute little table filled with a few mystery books, so wrapped up books with a little summary on the front, a few books people can just browse through and choose, um, a few recipe books, um, and also um, little cakes and bakes and biscuits and things. So it's going to be like a cute little books and bakes stall, and I'm super excited. So my team at work have kindly donated quite a few books for me to go through, decide which ones I might want to sell and um, which ones I might want to wrap to be part of the mystery book section. So um, I thought it might be a fun video to go through that together with you guys, learn about the books and um, explore what's been donated. So without further ado, Let's get started. It's um, kind of funny because there are three bags of books that people have donated and then I'll be donating some too. But you can really see the style of book that people like. And I feel like I've had three bags of quite different styles of readers. Silently floating through the chamber like a phantom. The only sound was that of her mantle. 
Civil War tearing England apart. Reluctant soldier Thomas Treadwater is summoned home. 
pages of witchcraft. Thomas prides himself on being a rational modern man, but as he unravels the mystery of what happened, he uncovers not a tale of superstition, but something dark and ancient linked to a shipwreck years before. You know what, I don't know why I've never actually picked this up, because I love witchcraft, or, you know, learning about that time, and linked to a shipwreck. It all does sound very much like my vibe. I might have been put off by the 1643 bit, I don't know. She is awake, and I must remind myself of how it began. The end of all things. It was a time of witches, it was a time of saints. It does sound good, doesn't it? Um, later. 
and it's home to Grace, although right now she's not too happy about it. Grace grew up in Sandy Branch helping her parents sort junk from vintage treasures, but she always longed to escape, and she made it, travelling for her job, falling in love and starting a family. So why is she back in the tiny seaside town she'd long left behind, hanging out with Charlie, the boy who became her best friend when they were teenagers? It sounds like we've got another little English town people are trying to escape from. It's a bit, it's a bit tall on this book. I don't know how I feel about putting that on a stall. I might donate it to a charity shop or something so that it's, um, you can see it before you buy it or just have it out and not a mystery book. Because I feel like if you unwrap you might be a bit Super cute. It's a really good quality book. 
say.